Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We filled up that 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball break. The eight-box jumbo was lagged behind the super jumbos for some reason, but we finally got it done. This is our last break of the night. So thanks to everyone who got into this action on late on a Friday night. Thanks, boys and girls. Boombox coming through with a boom. Last spot, Mojo. He got the Rays. Rory picked up the Phillies late. That was a big team off the board. So thanks, everybody, for digging deep. Ooh. Heavy. Thankfully, these jumbo breaks and super jumbo breaks are not that bad, sort of time wise and whatnot, because, you know, it's still 12, just 12 packs, 32 cards per pack. The ones that, that are kind of brutal on the hands and the time, the hobby boxes. I know, I know the hobby boxes have some exclusive refractors and stuff like that earlier in the year, but, man, it's still those hobby, 12 box hobbies. Those are, those are always brutal. All right, good luck, everybody. What are, what, are we, what are we looking for in here? So the Jumbos have three Chrome Prospect autographs inside. Three. Are, are there any exclusives in the uh, Jumbo and Super Jumbo, or is it all the same? Same, par same type parallels? I think so. I don't think there's a difference between the Super Jumbo and the Jumbo, just extra autos in the Super Jumbo. Right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Three autographs per box. That's what we're looking for. So we'll breeze through the paper. Paper doesn't ship, but all the chrome will be sorted out and shipped. Ryan Vallad for the Rockies out of 250. We'll set those aside, and those will be randomized. All right, randomized. Those will be um, sleeved and top loaded before they get shipped out, of course. So just, just paper doesn't ship. Everything else does, basically. There's Sean... Oh, come on. That's just got to be Sean Gel, right? Not Hagel. That H has got to be silent. Out of 402, Giants. That'll go to Robert Edwards. Oh, these will randomize left and right at the end of the break. Is it, is it Cody Westing is thinking jelly? Is it really jelly? No. He went to Kentucky, says Cody West. Sean Jelly. 6'11? Yeah, Matthew Bodner pointing out he's 6'11, 225. Why is he not playing hoops? No ups? All right. He's 100% sure. All right, thanks, Cody West. See? Takes the entire group. Now we know. Now you can impress your friends whenever he gets called up. They're like, oh, look at that. Sean, Sean Jelly's about to come up. And he's like, and your buddies at the bar are like jelly. Come on, that's not jelly. That's 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 Hagel. It's got to be Hagel. And we're like, no, it's jelly. And when the announcers are like, and here's Sean Jelly coming in for the first time, his major league debut. Win some bar bets there. There's Adam Hungry like the wolf. Win some bar bets, ladies and gentlemen.
That goes to the Brew Crew. That'll be for Rory. That's uh, Arbert. Come on. What are these names here? Uh, we got a Jelly here. We got Arbert. Scipion. Green Chrome for Rory. Matthew Bonner saying that guy would get brutalized in the post, probably. If you put on some LBSs, a little more LBSs, fill out that 6'11 frame. Cody West saying that because that rocket strapped to his right shoulder, it's probably better suited for the ball field, not the court. All right, fair enough. Fine. We are, we are many packs in. I have not. We have not even seen our first autograph yet. Are they all are they all just down there? Paper, just breeze through those. And that looks like our first auto. Grant Avril Levine out of four ninety nine for the Rockies. That's gonna go to Dane Reynolds. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of of Dennis Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, one of my favorite television shows. Not safe for work, kids. Or not a family-friendly show, kids. Just FYI. Those are facsimile autographs. Looking for two more autographs out of our first jumbo box. This is eight box jumbo of the brand new Bowman Baseball. Bowman Draft, the 160 out of 250 purple paper goes to the Padres, Rich Schmidt with that one. And looks like our, nice, our second autograph is Mason Denneberg, six out of 71. I like that sparkle there. Okay. Glitter going to John R. and the Nationals. I'm sure there's a name for it, but we'll just call it that for now. Nice, late first round pick on that guy. Tristan McKenzie out of 4.99 cyan paper, and our next autograph is going to be a Tampa Bay Ray Matthew Libertor for Boombox and the Last Spot Mojo. Nice, Mark. We were just talking about this guy off camera. We were talking about what prospects we can find out of here. Sixteenth overall, Matthew is uh, 61 on the. MLB.com prospect. He's got to work on that auto. ML is not going to cut it, Matt, but there it is. 61st overall, according to uh, MLB.com. All right, next box. He's number uh, number five in the Rays organization, Matt Libertor, high school out of high school, and um, and uh, number seven amongst left-handed prospects. So he's he's got some ce he's got a high ceiling. Where's he from? He's out of high school, I think. Went to Arizona. Mountain Ridge High School in Arizona, wherever that is. Arizona guys? You guys know? 19. Born in 1999.
All right, good luck, everybody. We'll breeze through this paper. Some chrome. Some Matt Libator again out of 402. Peoria, Arizona is where he's from. There's Paul's kid, Cal Quantrill. There's Eloy Jimenez to 150. We should, we should start seeing him in action this year. That might be might be a big name in the hobby. Right? I don't think we've seen official Eloy Jimenez rookie cards yet, right? Now, these ones aren't numbered. But they'll still ship. And some Adam Hasley, purple paper, at a 250 for Rory and the Phillies. And we've got some Jake Wong, purple chrome, 65 out of 244. Jake the Snake going to Robert Edwards and the San Francisco Baseball Giants, little oppo Joe mojo. Chandler, Arizona. There's Grayson Janista, 66 out of 99, green paper for the Bravos. I'm going to go to EA and the Braves. And there it is. Casey Mize, your number one overall pick for the Detroit Tigers. Mark Glassman, boom box with a boom. There he is, Springfield, Alabama, went to Auburn. Mize is currently, and he just got drafted uh, this spring, this early this summer. Um, he's already number 18 on the MLB.com top 100 prospects. Very nice. It's two, in a, two nights in a row, Boombox. He got one in Elite Extra Edition last night, too. Wish there was a little color on there, but still, very nice. Osiris Johnson to 499. And for the Rays, 149 out of 250. Boombox again. Wow. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Hi, Alex Morgan. Oh, U.S. Soccer Player of the Year. Nice. She has had a great season. All right. I think the Women's World Cup next summer.
All right, so Boombox, strong, strong break. Boombox says, much nicer getting hits at the start instead of sweating it till the end right here. I know, um, what happened the, earlier today, I think it was like Nick LaPlante had the, uh, Nick LaPlante had the Cardinals and he was, and there was like a specific player he was chasing and I was, you know, and this is kind of a long break too. And he, He's like, okay, Joe, I want, I need this guy, you know. And then I pulled it for him in box one, and I was like, get out of here, go, go do something for an hour. You got your hit. <laughs> You'll get the rest in the mail, you know. So boom box, good night. You can, you're dismissed from class early tonight. You can watch the rest of the video. Watch the rest of the video tomorrow. Although no, Mark's on the West Coast, so it's not that late for him. Now, Rory's in Wisconsin. It's getting late for him. It's getting there for him. Good luck. Some something sparkly down there. I don't know what that is. Maybe just one of those sparkle ones. There's Josh Burrow, 402 for the Yankees. Dante's kid right there. That'll be one of the bigger names in the baseball products next year. That Vlad Guerrero Jr. And that Eloy Jimenez we were talking about a little bit earlier. If I can see the sparkle, you're saying it's not an auto? Do they always flip the autos around? Some of the boxes have the autos facing us. Nick Prado is that sparkly card. Could have swore I saw some that was that were front that were facing us. Maybe they just screwed it up then. Jordan Adams, 250 for the Angels. Purple paper for Scott Claremont. And another Matt Libertor for Boombox and the Rays. The Rays were just sitting there. Think about how long the Rays were sitting there all night. Since we posted it, actually. Since we posted this, uh, the pre-orders for these three days ago or something like that, the Rays were sitting there for days. I knew everybody had a chance. Someone's going to come into the room tomorrow, Rory and Mark, and they're going to be like, ah. Oh. When it, when you guys first posted, I was like, I should grab the Rays in Jumbo 1. I knew it. Just like how, how, how Matthew Bodner and I knew that we should have picked the Kings for at least 95% of the game. We should have picked the Kings. Money line. Alec Bohm. 38 out of 99, Bowman Sterling on-card autograph. Now one for Rory and the Phillies. Phillies also sitting there for days. Nice. That's your big Phillies prospect right there. Picked third overall in the 2018 MLB draft. Nice one, Rory. 
<laughs> Boombox saying, hey, I just picked up the Rays just to see the break. I already had the Tigers. Not the Casey Mize. Tim Kate to four ninety nine for the Nationals. John R. And your next auto is Caden Gardner. Grenier, not Gardner. I'm thinking of Brett, maybe? Out of two fifty, Orioles. It's late. Alfonso with the O's. Nice one. Those are your three autographs right there. Two insert autos. Nice. Now maybe some low numbered parallels for us. Breeze past this paper. Paper doesn't ship. There you go. Some Ford Proctor to 250. There's pitching version of Brendan McKay. Could be a two-way. I don't know when he's going to come up. I think whenever he does, if they if they have him as a first baseman and a pitcher, another two-way player, that would be pretty cool. All right, that's a great box. All right, next one. All right, good luck. Here we go, next box. And for Rory, Matt Veerling at a 250 purple paper. And what a case, Jared Kalanick. That goes to DMAC and the Mets. Nice, Darren racking up the Kalanicks here. Great, sixth overall in this year's draft. From Wisconsin. Cody Deason to 402. And another Alec Bohm for Rory and the Phillies. That's Rory. Rory's racking up the hits now. I'm going to put all the autos we pulled right over here. We can do a quick little recap at the end. Which 
be looking for one more auto out of here. That hit is the bomb. The bomb. That's right. There's Bruce Dark Gatorall out of 99. There's Griffin Roberts, 402. Ryan Mountcastle to 499. Ryan Mountcastle should be making his way up to the majors. There's Jake McCarthy, 108 out of 250. Purple Chrome, autograph of Chris Garosi and the Diamondbacks. Snakes on the board. It's their first round pick. Isn't Bob Eubank? Bob Eubanks is doing a tax defense commercial. Isn't he not with us anymore? Bob Eubanks? You guys remember Bob Eubanks? Bob Eubanks is still alive? All right, that was a great, yeah, that actually, Rory's saying, wow, what a half case. We're halfway through the break, folks. We've got about 30, 20, 30, 25, 30 minutes to go. If I wasn't looking at Bob Eubanks, maybe a little bit faster than that. No, Bob Eubanks is alive. I don't think he's worked in a while, but he's doing that commercial. He's 80 years old, not dead. Sorry, Bob, if you're watching. Mr. Eubank, that is. be the guy in this generation that becomes the the old sort of old school celeb that pitches you that pitches you like uh, tax debt relief commercials mortgage refinancing commercials Seacrest, probably. You know, you already have Bo Jackson and Frank Thomas doing, like, you know, male, like, testosterone renewal commercials. And at some point, it's going to be... I don't think it'll be Bryce Harper. I feel like he doesn't, doesn't carry that. Maybe I could see, like, an old Justin Bieber... You know, hi, I'm Justin Bieber. I used to live fast. Now that I'm older, you know, like it'll be one of those commercials. There's Jackson Kowar, 25 out of 50. Nice gold auto for Michael Koontz. Mike Koontz in the Royals.
There's Corey Howell to 150. Oh, you guys have Shatner on law office commercials in Wisconsin? Nice. What What is your personal injury lawyer of choice? We've got, that's in your area. Our local guys, we've got, got a couple guys. I think Jacob and Ronnie is our local personal injury insurance guy. We've got Salino and Barnes, but I think that's more of a national sort of team. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, and whatever your phone number is in your ne neck of the woods. It used to be 888-8888, but now it's 808 million. It doesn't roll as nicely in the song. I don't like it. I don't like the number. I'm not going to use him. Oh, then you got, you got, Rory's got David Gruber in his area. Did you slip and fall? <laughs> Did, uh, did a pound of snow fall off a tree and land on your neck? There's Jake Wong, per, uh, green paper to 99. Then call David Gruber. I'll fight for you. Trevor Larnack is your other autograph. Twins, Aaron Monzone with that one. Oh, the tagline for David Gruber is one call, that's all. Nice. Marshawn Lynch did Beacon Plumbing ads in Washington. I like that. I like, there's a lot of, um, the local ads for these big athletes are always, always crack me up. I think if you look on YouTube, Boombox, you may already know this. Um, Ichiro has done some great local ads, I think. Mackenzie Gore, big prospect for the Padres there. Has some great, uh, or maybe it's like for promos, for like upcoming seasonal promos at, you know, at Safeco or something like that. But there's some good ones for Ichiro, who generally is not a really a public sort of figure kind of guy. But there are local commercials that exist that are pretty good. Silver Star, Saul Goodman, Better Call Saul. One call, that's all. David Gruber. All right, there's Braxton Ashcraft out of four ninety nine. And we've got for the speaking of the Mariners, look at that. Talk about that area. It appears Logan Gilbert, three fourteen out of four ninety nine. That goes to Seattle Mariners. Jeremy Merle on the board. Three fourteen. That's the Seattle area code. I'm kidding. I don't know. It's not the Seattle area code. I don't think. I don't know what area code it is. I thought that'd be cool. Instead of jersey number, it's like got area code. Um, anyone old enough on the West Coast that remembers? You remember Cal Worthington? Did they have his ads up there too? Go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. He had like a, he had a big old cowboy hat. I don't know why like, like this like Texan type was trying to sell cars to us. But yeah, Cal, he had a, he had a tiger as his, at his lot. I remember those ads as a, as like a kid, like a really, like a, be on TV. Oh, he had car, I guess he had car dealerships everywhere then. Yeah, D Dane Reynolds, yes, a tiger. At least the ones in the Orange County car dealership. He, he had a tiger walk around with him. Yeah, Dean. That cowboy hat and a tiger. I want to say that that the car dealership has has maybe taken his likeness 
and be able to superimpose his head on another body and maybe still he'd still those commercials. Am I making that up or did is that a, did that happen? He had a monkey too? Man. Screw screw the screw the 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 gigantic panda that it, you know the gigantic inflatable panda on top of a car dealership. Give me exotic animals, you know, give me just animals on TV and I'll be like, "All right, I could buy a car there." You could be like, "Here Here's, here's like Bob's junk cars. And we've got an otter. And I'll be like, that seems like a reputable place. The, uh... The National Car Collecting Convention is in Chicago next year, ladies and gentlemen, in the summer. We'll be there. Um, I, I want everyone to practice their favorite local car commercial song jingle. There's got to be some good ones in your neck of the woods. I kind of like those. You know, practice those and let, let's, let's trade songs. My hometown of Upland, there is a Ford dealership. They had this really great rock song. You might be able to see it on the YouTube. Um, but it would be like, Ford of Upland, America's car company, Ford of Upland. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that makes me want to buy a truck. Cabrian Hayes to 402 Pirates. <laughs> Go to Chris Garosi. It's a good one. There's also a Toyota dealership in Orange County, California. Orange, California. I'll sing you the jingle right after this. Oh, I thought this was going to be an auto. See, Rory? Trixie Bowman. Unbelievable. thought that was going to be an autograph. I mean, did, did I do that? Did I, did I do that? The other one was uh, Toyota of Orange. And the jingle is, no, you won't get a lemon at Toyota of Orange. No, you won't get a lemon. At Toyota of Orange. And there's like a call and response thing that happens too. So there's a guy in the background, this this guy who clearly got a lemon from the wrong dealership. Kind of has a wild voice, you know, just... So the song goes, no, you won't get a lemon. Some guy's like, I wouldn't have gotten a lemon at Toyota of Orange. <laughs> no, there's a call and response thing there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm a fan of car dealership jingles. I collect those. Logan Gilbert to 250. Mariners. So practice your local car dealership jingles. Because they always get stuck in your head. Josh Naylor seems like. Did you? Pack on some pounds there, Josh. It's the beauty of baseball, folks. Whatever body type. As long as you can, you can make that repeatable motion. You can be a ball player. All right, there's Simon Woods Richardson to 499 for the Mets. And there's Connor Scott using the blunt end of the pen. Miami Marlins, Jason Cox. Oh, Jason, are you awake? He he was wondering about this jumbo break all day. Finally did it, Jason. There you go. There's your 13th overall pick. There's a, I think there's a, a Lexus or a car dealership in Van Nuys, Keys. K E Y E S. Keys on Van Nuys Boulevard or whatever. But their song is, is kind of just a Beach Boys ripoff. It's just like Keys, 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 Keys on Van Nuys. It's not as good. Not as good as Ford of Upland. Cabrian Hayes to 499, paper. 
And there's Simon Woods Richardson, or Simeon Woods Richardson. Sim Simon? Simon? Sim Simon? Woods Richardson going to the Mets. D-Mac with that one. And we got Blaine Enlow for the Twins out of 150. We should have one more autograph, right? There it is. It's Tim Kate. Blue Wave Auto, 49 out of 150 for John R. And the Washington Nationals. No Super Fractor in this box. Rory Rory was predicting Super Fractor. Still have two boxes left, though. I'd like to see a one of one. We haven't seen one all day. Almost done, folks. Almost there. Thanks, everybody. Staying up late with me on a Friday night. Busting open some brand new Bowman Draft baseball. Got more in the store, and I'm sure we'll be back tomorrow. There are more in the store. And we can do all weekend. All weekend. I know Cody West is like, man, we're so spoiled. We haven't seen a one of one all day. Kids in Africa have never seen a one of one. That's right. There are people in third world country who have never seen a one of one. Uh, we did hit that red non-auto, but we, we have not seen a uh, red or orange autograph today. You know who's pulled uh, long-term here at Jaspies? Over the last four years we've been doing this. Nick Jaspie is actually the one who pulls, seems to pull the fire out of this Bowman over the years. He pulled the Carlos Rodon Super Factor ages ago. Something else amazing a little while ago too. <laughs> right. Yeah, they do get those uh, the, uh, the, the Super Bowl loser or the World Series loser shirt. Somewhere in a third world country they think the Dodgers have won the World Series two years in a row. Right, the Lutz, the Tristan Lutz, Super Fractor. I think Nick's pulled more if we, if we did a count, if we went back to all of our breaks. Although the kids over there have to know by now, right? right? They, they, they know that the, that the Patriots didn't have a perfect season. Mitch Keller to 402. And those t-shirt printing companies must make like make out like bandits. If you get that if you get that lucrative t-shirt con contract, man. If I'm a if I'm a t-shirt printing company, I'm like, yep, I got the Super Bowl, guys. Getting orders from both teams. Win or lose. There's Grant Avril Levine going to the Rockies. Dane Reynolds with the Rocks. Grant Avril Levine. I wonder if he was ever a skater boy. There you go. 
Good Avril Lavigne reference, Joe. Nice. If I can work in an Avril Lavigne reference in every one of these Bowman breaks, that's a good it's a good night for the Rockies. Uh, out of two fifty, La Vestida. Brian La Vestida. There's Casey Mize again right on top. Cody West has a word of advice for us. He Christmas shop before the fifteenth. Why? That sounds far too responsible. Don't you don't you wanna don't you wanna don't you want the stress and panic of trying to shop for all of your friends and family at the very last minute? Running to Walmart and Target and finding everything sold out? That's right, Matthew Bodner. This is this is professionalism to the max. I could, I could, I could still bring the the fire, the joke writers in the back still working strong. There's Nikki Lopez Orange, twenty three out of twenty five. You can find the, you can find a guide to that'll engrave anything, Cody West, at any time, if you know the right guys. Oh, don't worry, don't you worry about that. There is Carlos Cortez. Courtois? Boombox is saying, I've been trying to get my family to do Christmas the second week of January. Stores are empty and everything's on clearance. That's right. Put up the lights. All the lights are on sale. Get the Christmas tree on sale. You know? I thought we were done, and then I saw this. <laughs> We're almost done, kids. Almost done. Almost there. Stay on target. Is this Grayson? You think it's Henista? You know, poco espanol, or is it Janista? <laughs> He's from Kansas. This must be Janista. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to stereotype or anything like that, but. There's Jeff's kid, Griffin Conine. That goes to the Blue Jays. Darren McKenzie with Toronto. There you go, Darren. You live in East... <laughs> Cody was like, man, I live in I live in Eastern Kentucky. I don't live in, live in L.A. where I can find an engraver anywhere. He just... Money talks, you just wake up the guy. Cody West. No, you gotta have the you gotta have max stress during the holiday season. You gotta get blood pressure up, get really amped up. Last box, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Thank you very much. And we're not that far over anyway. Not far past when we usually go off air, so thank you, everybody. Good luck to everyone. Three more autographs to go, plus parallels. Plus parallelograms. Good luck, everyone. We have more. Believe it or not. We've got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We will not be doing them tonight, but I'm sure we'll do, well, I'm sure we'll do a few more tomorrow. I'm sure Nick will do a few more on Sunday. I'll do a few more tomorrow. We'll do more on Monday. Probably get more playbook next week. Work on that. It'll be a busy next couple weeks, boys and girls. Got some new releases. Optic, Donner's Optic Football coming out next Wednesday. So a little more playbook, some Donner's Optic Football. That'll be a lot of fun. We will be busy. We will be having fun. There'll be plenty of plenty of things to do. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. Great new release night at jazbeescasebreaks.com. 
Hopefully we can end with a boom here. There's Justin Jarvis out of 150 for the Brew Crew. Haven Smith, 402. <laughs> There is Ethan Hawk. No, Ethan Hankins out of 402. What's breaking next? Whatever you fill up next, Joe P. You fill something up, I'll do it. You won't. You won't. What's next? We haven't seen an autograph out of here. Where is the auto? Did I miss an auto? I don't think so. Pretty obvious, hard to miss. There it is. It's Alec Bohm. Bohm. I told you there's gonna be another Bohm at the end of this break. Yeah. Rory Wagner with the Philadelphia Phillies. There you are, your third overall pick, Rory, and your third, Alex Bohm. Alec Bohm. Right, you had this. You had another base auto, and then you had the Bowman Sterling. Boom. Travis Waggerty for the Pirates. Out of 250, purple paper. And there's another Jared Kalanick for Darren McKenzie and the Mets. Nice one, D-Mac. There's not a top loader. No, it's not a top loader worthy of... Jared, here, there you go, that's a lot better. Not worthy enough for the sixth overall pick. We got JB. 14 out of 50 gold paper. And the last autograph is for the Mets. 417 out of 499, Carlos Cortez. Another one for D-Mac. Nice. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a quick left-right randomizer to do, but that is it. Thank you so much. We got this in just under an hour, and I'll do a quick autograph recap after I do the randomizer here as well. Ooh, we did it. Even even with me looking up what Bob Eubanks was doing, to being still alive. All right. 
Left, right, randomizer. Rolling the dice. Four and a six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Right side, we'll get them. So the right side, we'll get those. Quick autograph recap. Very nice. Thank you for breaking with us, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. That one was nice. A lot of Matthew Libertors early on and Grant Avril Levine at the beginning. And there you have it, boys and girls. Thank you very much. That was a eight box jumbo. Pick your team one of 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. Brand new release just came out today. We'll be doing more tomorrow. Join us then. We'll see you next time. Bye.